the topic of the nature. I'm going to ask questions about that as our listeners are very interested in these topics. Um, there is the possibility of the existence of exoplanets in the universe entirely covered with water, but the likelihood of finding planets with in the universe, like the Earth is very rare little. What do you think about that? Is our planet privileged and special? Well, astronomers have discussed to date over 3,000 planets in the solar system. And the ones that are most like a lot of water, uh, from 5 to 50 percent of water, rising because there's the third most molecule in the universe, right after hydrogen 2 and hydrogen. So the universe is that size that we're finding a lot of planets. However, these planets have far too much water for advanced life. I mean, 50% contrast Earth is 0.03% water. And the greatest understanding of the history of the Earth is thanks to the Earth lost its primordial water. Earth started off just rich. These Earth-like planets were but lost its uh, a collision event that led to the form and what much thinner layer of that's also important because what we're seeing like planets, they have thick atmospheres. Atmosphere is much thicker than that of which would be dead for advanced life. And so it's unique about the Earth is it has a very tiny amount of liquid water and a very atmosphere, but it's a big enough rocky planet full of resources needs. Or to put it another way, so of uh, NASA is the water, good water, the mental requirement for life. The only habitability they're looking at. You know, my little book on the planet, I talk about how astronomers have discovered nine different habitable zones in the liquid, the violet habitable zone. Uh, 90% of all the stars we see, those two zones don't overlap. So there's no possibility for any kind of life. And for life to be possible, a planet must simultaneously in all nine of the present available zones. I think it's more. Of these 600 planets, only one resides simultaneously in all nine habitable zones. The one you and I are sitting in. It's wonderful. It's fascinating. Why we love science and scientists who have that information. 